And you saw this guy walking down the street? Don't smile. This ruins it. <laughs> okay? He's kind of a scary looking guy, right? Kind of scary. Now, I don't know this guy at all, but if he was walking down the street and he probably dresses in a little aggressive attire, he's got some facial hair, dark features. You know, ISIS, are you? Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I always have comedy. As a person, you kind of be like, wow, you know, he's kind of intimidating. Maybe I don't want to be near. But obviously, he's a good guy, right? We just don't know him. He's a sheepdog. They protect the sheep. If something bad happened and he saw somebody attacking you in a parking lot, do you think this guy would come up and help you? I guarantee you would. Police officers, those are sheepdogs. There's sheepdogs all over. And as sheep, sometimes people are afraid of the sheepdogs because they look intimidating. They can be mistaken as wolves because they kind of emulate some of the wolves' tactics and just the way they look. And then that wolf, he's looking for victims, looking for the dumb lady that's got the sh uh, shoulder hanging down purse, looking at her cell phone, taking selfies. They are looking for victims, always, always. And so by coming here today, you are really opening your eyes to not being a victim, not being that sheep that's just meandering around, waiting, waiting to be victimized, okay? so. Your mindset, what you have in your mind every day when you wake up, you're not gonna be a victim. You're not gonna be a victim of life at all. Because you train, you train. Whether you go to the gym, whether you run, whether you box, whether you ground fight, whatever you do, even if it's just like I said, coming here today and going through those techniques in your mind, shadow boxing them, even if it's that, you are preparing your mind to be in an altercation. A lot of times when my husband goes out and he goes to a victim, they're like, I can't believe this happened to me. I can't believe this happened. The ones that survive, tell him, you know what? I can't believe it happened, but I was prepared and I knew how to react. If someone had never gone up to you and put up. their hands on you like that, would it be kind of intimidating? What might you have done? Maybe like try to pull back? And then what's the worst thing you could do in an attack is start stepping back and then they get their momentum and then they're on top of you. Okay, so you have already taken a step forward in protecting yourself. How many of you have kids? Okay, when I was 19, I'm pretty confident myself, um, but I had a baby, and that automatically made me a target. You've got a baby seat, you've got all this stuff. How many of you drive around the parking lot and scout everything out? Do you? No. When I, had, when, I, when I had a baby, I started driving around the parking lot. I'm looking for a guy walking around because I got a baby seat. I got a purse. I'm going into the, into the sh uh, shopping center now. Now, look at all these things I have to protect. It's not just me. It's my baby and everything else. You have, to, you have to have the prior, and I call this prior mental planning, to protect yourself. Don't be a victim. Don't park next to a van in a parking garage. You know, I mean, things that you don't think of, you need to start thinking of because our society is not getting really any safer. Take time to go through the parking lot. See if there are guys sitting in their car. See if there are guys around the corner and you're parking on the corner. Have the mindset that you're not going to put yourself in a position to be an easy victim. One of the other things that I think a lot of criminals and wolves will do is they will look at your body posturing. They're looking for somebody that's got their head down. And, and when I get out of the car, I get out of the car, and I look in, the, and, and a lot of people think I'm arrogant, but I look, I scout. I got my head up, I'm looking. I know where the exits are when I'm in a grocery store. You have to know these things. You have to have that mindset, that mental planning to prepare not to be a victim, right? Okay, so I'm not gonna get too much more on that, but the mindset, Knowing technique and having the mindset to actually use it are two entirely different things. You can have a concealed weapon permit and get a gun out and not have the mindset to stop someone in front of you because, oh my God, I can't take a life. You have to have the mindset. Some people shouldn't have guns because they can't make that decision. The gun's gonna get taken away, it's gonna get used on them. Okay, but what you do have, you have this mind here, and you've got these, these king vassals that we're going to throw right now. Okay. <laughs> How many of you box? It's okay if you don't fight. Just, are you, you going to fight in school? No. Okay. I'm going to fight in. With who? By bed. Oh, 